So now we're going to do step 11, which is docu documenting the point of sale uh, loan balance. Remember that this loan was acquired in January of last year. And now we are starting to do our bookkeeping from this year forward. So because of that, we're not interested in doing all these transactions. We're just going to bring the accumulated totals of our liabilities and our assets. And we don't care about actual activity of expenses and earnings for the year before. Um, so let's create a new, uh, a new liability account. So how are we going to do this? So let me um, move this really quickly. And the first step is going to be to create a liability account. Specifically, it's going to be a long-term liability account. We're going to call this POS loan. And then, two, we're going to, uh, under that, I should say, so I would say under this, two, 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 we're going to um, input the balance of loan as of 1-1-2023 one, one, or as at the beginning of this year. And that's basically it, right? So let's do that for now. So we go back to our QuickBooks. We create a new account. It is going to be a liability account. Specifically, it's going to be a long-term liability. And we can use this as uh, notes payable. And the account name, in Danny's case, is going to be DV POS Loan. And then the starting date and opening balance, since we're not going to be doing all the entries of all the payments we made for last year, then we're just going to focus on the beginning of this year. And we're going to grab this amount, which is the 5608 And so by that, I mean, let me highlight this one instead. This is the one. This is the balance that's at the end of the year. So then that's the amount that we have to plug in. So we just created a new liability account, POS loan. We select it at the end of the year, and we're done with step number 11. Thank you so much for watching.